To reach the carbon neutrality, switching to clean sources of energy also helps to address climate change. And 35 nations have collaborated on an experiment by the International Thermal Nuclear Experimental Reactor, or ITER. It is an international nuclear fusion research project aimed at creating energy. For this discussion, we're joined online by uh, Mr. Luo Delong, uh, Director General of China International Nuclear Fusion Energy Program Execution Center. So welcome to our show, uh, Mr. Luo. So how about we start with this section uh, uh, with a brief introduction about ITER. What is ITER and what is the goal of this project? Thank you. ITER is International Thermal Nuclear Experimental Reactor. It's a mega science engineering project trying to produce uh, power or generation uh, power uh, use the same uh, kind of theory as uh, the sun. So currently it's uh, composed of seven members, in, uh, namely China, Europe, India, Japan, Korea, R Russia, and the United States. Altogether, we have seven members, but uh, U Europe itself, uh, we have 28 mem members, so there are around 34 countries all together in this uh, project. We are trying to produce uh, a thermonuclear uh, fusion reactor uh, to, exper to explore the possibility to use uh, fusion to generate uh, power, which is uh, similar to how the sun is making power. You notice that uh, in China and in many other countries that we they they, they also have their uh, fusion facilities. But why does ITER need global scientific support, or how important is this global cooperation to this project? You know, uh, to produce uh, uh, some to produce something uh, like the sun on the Earth is really a miracle. Mm -hmm. uh, in the meantime, it's very very difficult. We need uh, very complex uh, facilities to trying to achieve this. So to do this, we need uh, to share the knowledge of the world. We need to share the cost of the big, very expensive project, and we need to share the risk. Because uh, it's a difficult project. We don't really uh, know the fi fi final goal is achieved. Of course, uh, we have confidence, but uh, but still we need to share the, the risk. So all this is really uh, the need for international collaboration. And uh, for this project, all the members are bearing the same objective and uh, trying to address the common goal, which is to address the international issues uh, to solve the uh, energy need, I mean, to, to meet the energy need, need of the humankind. So by this, we come together and uh, to trying to make this project. So what does this either in nuclear fusion technology mean for the future of the mankind? Does that mean we can get rid of the fossil fuels completely? Uh, yes, but uh, not uh, very soon, because mm -hmm. uh, it's really very difficult. So mm -hmm. far, we're still at this stage of experiments. And uh, uh, by the time we will trying to address all the science, scientific issues, tech technology issues, but still we need time to make commercial use of it. And uh, if we can succeed, uh, really we can uh, solve all the need of uh, energy of the humankind in the long, in the long run. Currently we are believing in the middle of this century, we can make it. 